In today's video, it's time for redemption for the EPC-901. Can Linux save the day? Stay tuned. All right, so here is the desktop of MX Linux 21.3, 32-bit of course, because we cannot run a 64-bit operating system. It's installed without problems. Sitting at the desktop, we can see that our CPU is only at 2%. Memory is at 32, and the hard disk is at 11% used. We're also running on battery. Should be fine. All right. Everything is working. We got Wi-Fi, we got Bluetooth, we got Ethernet, we got sound. Everything worked out of the box. Didn't need to do any jiggering. Even the graphics card is still supported, a GMA 950. So let's open up a browser and see how that goes. That was something that was very difficult on Windows before. Here we have a current version of Firefox. All right, so let's see what we can do if we go back to my channel. See how that loads. Let's go on back to our desktop. Yep, our CPU is pegged, so that's definitely the reason it's not performing as well as it could. As a matter of fact, let's just uh, plug in the power and see if that makes any difference. Dropping everything left and right. go. Now we've got extra power going into it. All right, so it seems that in the background it actually loaded the page, so that's good. Let's see if we can play the same video that we tried last time. Question is, can we do a search? The L3 G. Oh, I typed three. Uh, that's not right. This keyboard is a mess. There we go. That's the hit that we were looking for. It's a lot better experience than, uh, than Windows was, that's for sure. All right, we're buffering. Let's see what the quality is that it's going to recommend us to play the video at. Doesn't appear that we can click that button. Uh, we're at 144p. All right. Let's go full screen. There we go, full screen is loaded. It's very obvious that the CPU is the main bottleneck. You can just see that it's trying. Let's try 360p. Windows was unable to play the video at 360p at all. We'll give this just a little bit to uh, try and buffer that quality setting. just to let it move a little bit there would be good to see if this would actually work all right buffering is picking up in terms of speed so it seems everything is loaded in the background we can now start playing a video there we go i mean framer is not brilliant but it's playing There is movement in the video, so it's always a good thing to test the frame rate. It's a little bit choppy, but I've seen worse. Like playing YouTube on a PowerPC Mac, that's absolutely terrible. 
It's about as quick as this is. Get the same detail settings. So like I did in the old uh, iBook first netbook video that I did a little a little while ago. Um, yeah, that, that, that's that's about the same speed. So that makes sense. Okay, so YouTube is now playable. So that's good. Let's try another website, something a bit heavier, like CNN. Oops, I wanted to type .com there. There we go. DNS resolution is already completed, starting to load the page. This is one of the hardest websites to load on an old system like this. Yeah, sure, except the cookies. I'm going to wipe this system anyway. By the way, something that uh, one of you viewers pointed out in uh, the comments on the previous video, whether this computer was meant to run Linux or not, and, well, like I uh, replied to that comment, indeed it is, because on the keyboard you can see that there is a little uh, home icon rather than the Windows icon. This particular unit was only shipped with Linux. So it makes sense that Linux runs the best on here, and uh, it still does. So CNN.com is loaded, even with all the playing videos and large images. This is definitely a uh, decent enough experience for a quick read on the road. So that's definitely miles and miles better than Windows was. And even, even though we're still heavily bottlenecked by our CPU, we can at least now sort of run software. Let's see what we got on here that's somewhat interesting. Let's open up our task manager here so we can see what's going on. Stretch this all the way out. Yeah, memory wise, we're at 35%. That's good. Our idle CPU is a bit high, but nothing too terrible. This is a pretty recent version of Linux. This came out in 2021. So that's still more than uh, new enough uh, to get your work done. Let's see, we can open up LibreOffice, usually a pretty blood piece of software. And after that, we'll, uh, we'll call it quits for this video because, uh, frankly, there's not much of a point just watching me click on stuff, right? Well, that wasn't actually too bad. LibreOffice is usually pretty rubbish, so... Let's wait for the interface to load. Oh, and there we are. Now we're in LibreOffice. That's definitely a very usable experience as well. That, that didn't take too long to start at all. Huh, that's pretty impressive. So overall, I think, can uh, can we answer the question, is Linux a redemption for an old netbook like this? Well, the answer is yes. It's definitely a much better experience than Windows 10 was. I sort of expected that, but now we've actually seen it on video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.